Hi, this is Dr. Dimitris from London presenting the case of a symphony in trochial lens exchange to a monofocal due to symptoms associated with poor quality vision. As you can see, the lens is well centered with a mild enterocapsular phimosis nasally. One side port and a clear corneal incision are made as per standard cataract surgery. AC is filled with a cohesive viscoelastic and a dispersive viscoelastic attached on a flat lacy cannula with a, a blunt beveled tip which I use to mobilize the lens by releasing its fibrosis around the haptics distal and then proximal I always leave a little bit of a bubble underneath the lens to allow for better visualization of the posterior capsule and then the lens is dislocated into the AC by rotating it safely out of the bag as you can see here by lifting the distal haptic outside the bag and then rotating it then we we'll follow through for the proximal haptic because of the nature of the lens being hard I always flex a little bit its edge so that it doesn't stretch the capsule too much once the lens is safely on the AC and away from the corneal endothelium I'll use a Sinsky with scissors to bimanually introduce the lens to the scissors and then gently cut it always being careful from the possible flexion bend of the lens while cutting and again using the Sinsky to keep the lens away from the endothelium and using McPherson's forceps to pull the lens out of the AC into those two segments This patient was referred to me from a colleague having undergone a primary multifocal lens implantation for a cataract surgery 11 months prior to a consultation. She had an unedited vision of 610 with N10 near, correcting with a plus 1 minus 1 to 66. Antoinette was a very pleasant lady, 71 years old, and really wanted to improve her quality of vision. She was troubled a lot with the glare and explained to her that a monofocal lens, a ZCB model here, taken as ZCB by Abbott, was chosen after our discussion. And you can see here the otherwise routine implantation. I'll also use a little click a rotation to the right to lock the lens in position so that it doesn't move into the AC as it's unfolding and here you can see stressing the haptics into the bag Irrigation and aspiration of the viscoelastic from behind the IOL first and then from the anterior chamber over the lens. This is something that uh, resolved completely onto an ed symptoms and I'm pleased to report that uh, she had no recurrence of her photic phenomena, light sensitivity and poor quality vision and enjoyed a 2020 unedited vision. This is a good example illustrating that even the mildest of the lenses, like the Symphony, can still have side effects that are unwanted by the patients, but we can still help them. Thank you very much for watching.